This is a review of a Super NES emulator for the R4. After downloading the file, which I'll put in the description, you go to it and you load it. And make sure you put all the ROM files in a folder called SNES. Otherwise, the emulator won't be able to pick them up. Just load a ROM that you've downloaded. The Super Mario All Stars for Super NES. You can change the screen layout here to medium so you can see the whole screen. And you go to OK. Speak which game you want. I'll just skip this if I can lose. It's not something to set the camera on. Gameplay is pretty smooth. Just like on emulators on the PC, you can save states and load states. Let's select ROM, load state, save state. Press that, and then pick which which slot you want to put it in. Then press A to save it. So if you die or get hurt by an enemy, you can just press load save, load state, go back and load it. Save state. If you die, just go back and load the state. Gameplay and everything is smooth on this emulator. There's options like fast speed and normal speed. On fast speed, you can the gameplay is slightly faster. I'll show you here. It's on normal speed right now. And I'll just stop it right here. And this is on fast speed. As you can see, I'm moving a lot faster, and it's kind of easier to die too, but you'll get used to it. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. It is kind of hard to control yourself when it's on fast speed, but. You can speed up other games that normally take a little longer.
Now just say state. If I want to load another game, I just go here to select ROM. Just pick any ROM I want to load. I don't know what I downloaded this for. It was just completely random. But all games play smoothly on this emulator. There are some games that will run, but the graphics will be kind of glitched up, like this game, Killer Instinct. This particular game plays, but the graphics get messed up sometimes. I own at this game. Then after I win, I can just save the state. Now you can see the background back there is kind of orange when it's supposed to be gray. There's a little bit of flashing on the screen, too. Some games, you know, some levels on this game will graphics will be really messed up, but you can still play. But most games for this emulator will work fine.